Hey, what's up? Andrew Brinkman of Brinkman Films here. Who's ready to learn some stuff? Today we're talking about Adobe Bridge. It is a digital asset management application that Adobe Systems uh, created to basically uh, replace your normal way of accessing files in your OS. That would be like the File Explorer in Windows, for example. And it offers some really interesting tools. And I have to say one feature in particular came in clutch the other day when I was working on a stock video project with a friend, we were collaborating. So he was sending me a bunch of clips over Google Drive. And, but the thing is when I had to download the batches that he sent me, uh, Google Drive zipped them all, each clip into individual folders. That would have been a pain to click through and then manually uh, bring into my FTP to get them onto the back end of the web page we were using to upload to our stock agency. So how did I go about fixing this problem? Well, I, all you have to do is open Bridge and go to the root folder that has all the other folders that you want to see things from. Go up to the View drop-down menu and click Reveal Items in Subfolders. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to show you every single folder and every single item that is in that root folder. Now, what's even more powerful about this feature is that you can go to the left side of Bridge and then check what kind of uh, file extensions you want to see. In my case, it was these QuickTime movies. Click that, and then all I see is all of the QuickTime movies that are in this one uh, root folder, but are contained in all these little folders that I would otherwise have to go through and click through, which would it save me so much time because what you can do is do Control or Command A, and it, it selects all of the videos, and then you can just drag them wherever you want to from there because it will interact with your uh, operating system as if you were just going through and looking at the files normally. And this is really the biggest reason that I think it's important to know Bridge as a video editor because it allows you to interact with your assets in ways that you cannot do if you're just using File Explorer. So I hope that saves you some time if you ever have to go through and do these kind of things. Um, if you have any questions about Bridge, feel free to put them in the comments below. I love Bridge and it saves me a ton of time and there's tons of great features that uh, we can talk about anytime. So just let me know. As always, if you learned something, uh, feel free to give this video a like, subscribe. We're gonna have tons of other uh, great informational videos coming out. I love to teach, I love to learn, so never stop learning, guys. See you later.